All right, party people, this video is about understanding how to multiply decimals. Now, wait a minute, didn't I already make videos on how to multiply decimals? And you are correct, but I didn't do a sort of deep dive in the why of where to place the decimal point. And what I really want to hit home is um, there are shortcuts that a traditional multiplication of decimals usually do, which means we just learn the shortcut. We're not really understanding the math of where to put the decimal point. And I'll give you some examples. So today, hopefully, this quick video will allow you to understand why we place the decimal point where we place it. So the why, why do we do it? Let's do a traditional method of multiplication, and then let's do this way of understanding of where the decimal point goes. Can you multiply these two numbers for me? So let's multiply this. Now, traditionally, this is what many of you would do. You start moving the equations. Well, I don't blame you. Now, traditionally, what you, would you do? You would take the one, multiply it by the two, and then the one by the two, and then you would add a zero for some reason, and you'd put a one times two, one times two, and it would look something similar to this. Am I right? Now you'd add it up. We have 242, but we haven't added the decimals yet. Now, traditionally, what uh, you're taught in school is, well, let's count the decimal places. One, two, how far it is away from the right for some reason. And then we go all the way down, take the elevator down, and then the same amount of times that we move the decimal point, we're going to move it back. Now that's not really math, is it? One, two, and we put the decimal place right there. And your answer would be 2.42. Now, I'm not arguing the answer. I'm just arguing how and why we would do that. Now, let's see if we can rename decimals and figure out that way of understanding why the decimal point goes 2.42. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Can we rename these decimals? Yeah, we can. Let's make them 22 tenths and 11 tenths. Now, that's the first step by renaming them. So step one would be able to take a look at 2.2 or 2 decimal 2 and rename them to the next decimal point, which would be the tenths. Now, the next step would be multiplying the whole numbers that we have, 22 and 11. So 22 times 11 is... 242. The next step is multiplying the place values. Can we now multiply the tenths times the tenths, which would give us hundredths? If you take a look at our answer, 242 hundredths is the same as saying 2 decimal 4 2. In a previous video, I was able to show you um, a chart, a placemat that I used to use, and let's see how this works. So we've got 242 hundredths, and it's the same as moving up to 2.42. And that's how you get the decimal placement because you are multiplying the place values. Now let's do two more examples and we'll wrap this up. Now can you find the answer of 1.2 times 3? And you can do a couple of things where you can keep 3 as a whole number by itself, or you can turn it into 30 tenths. You're going to arrive at the same answer, so I'm going to let you do it. Remember, step one is to rename the decimals. Step two is multiply those whole numbers. Step three is you're going to multiply the place values, and then you'll be able to rename it back. Press pause now to figure that out. Well, the first way that we've figured it out is you go 12 tenths times three, and you can easily get 36 tenths. The other way of doing it is having 30 tenths, which would then equal 360 hundredths, which is the exact same thing as 3.60, which is the same as 3.6. Okay, here's the last example. Can you figure it out for me? You probably might need a calculator. Hey, if you can do this in your head, bravo, you are a genius. I can't even do that. So go grab a calculator and start trying to multiply this. This will be our last example. 2.5 times 0 0.101. Press pause now, and if you press play, I'll give you a quick hint. Well, the first step is to rename the decimals. And we've got 25 tenths times 101 thousandths. If you were stuck, the next step is to multiply 25 by 101. After that, you're going to get a number, and then it will be tenths times thousandths. Or in other words, you would multiply 10 times 1,000. Can you try and figure out the answer now? 
were you able to get 2,525 ten thousandths? If so, you got it. Now, what decimal is 2,525 ten thousandths? Well, we can start playing around with it. You know that it's about four or five decimal places away because tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Well, if we've got four digits here, let's try this, putting the decimal point right there, and now let's count. This is tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Oh, wouldn't you know? The answer is 0 0.2525, or also known as 2,525 ten thousands. Now, of course I told you like before, the traditional way we can just go down the elevator whoop, and start moving the decimal point and know where the decimal point would be. This is the longer way of doing it, of course, but at least now you understand why the decimal point goes to right there as opposed to just moving it from the elevator. Now, the whole point of this video was to do a deeper dive of understanding where to put the decimal point as opposed to just guessing or just memorizing or knowing the shortcut. If we understand how to multiply the place values, we will know where to place the decimal point. Because remember with this example, all we did was we went one, two, one, two. We just moved that over. Like I said before, it's of course easier, but you're just memorizing and not really understanding math. Hopefully you're able to understand why the decimal point goes to where it is as opposed to just memorizing shortcuts. And that was the point of this video. Um, I would love for you to understand this for yourselves so that when you move forward, you're able to explain and understand it from this perspective. Anyways, that's it for now. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. And again, if you didn't understand it, please rewatch it. All right. Talk to you soon. Happy mathing.